X season is in full swing, but that also means scammers are out in full force. Consumer advocates warn filers to vet the companies they go to for help. Dylan Siraki spoke with the Better Business Bureau today. Dylan, what should we be looking out for? Well, Eric Hanna, experts tell me to double check whether the company you're planning on working with provides tax help all year round and not just during return season. It's just one way to ensure you don't fall victim to a scam. Anyone can can get a program to do taxes, but that doesn't really know that doesn't really mean they know what they're doing. After a Rockford tax preparer is accused of submitting fraudulent returns by the U.S. Department of Justice, experts say there are steps you should take to make sure you don't land in hot water with the IRS. Dennis Horton with the Better Business Bureau says one simple question can help you separate potential scammers from qualified tax professionals. Do you have a uh, tax preparer identification number? Uh, if they can't produce that, uh, you should uh, turn um, and walk away. In fact, you should turn and run away. Horton tells me all legitimate tax preparers will also have no problem signing your tax return before filing and won't ask you to sign it before filling it out. You never sign a return that you haven't been able to go over and ask questions or uh, that you haven't seen before it's submitted. If the place that you go is not open all year round just for a couple of weeks in April, you know, that's a big warning sign. Mark Stieber is the chief tax information officer with Jackson Hewitt. He warns that anyone who promises a big refund is probably someone you don't want to work with. If it sounds too good, it's probably too good. And you see a lot of that at this time of the year. I guarantee you a refund. I guarantee you won't be audited. Someone who's going to do a good job for you knows that they will do a good job for you and they aren't going to have to try to punch up their credentials or, or make promises that they probably can't keep. Horton says another tip is to ask any prospective tax preparer about their fee range before working with them. He tells me if they charge based on the size of your return, it's a red flag they may not be legitimate. Eric, 